In Minecraft 121, there's been a change that's basically totally broken the entire XP system. Is it a bug? Is it a feature? It's not actually super clear. But whatever it is, it might completely change the value of the experience system in Minecraft if something's not done about it soon. So subscribe if you like what you see. I'm Simply Slark, and uh oh, XP is broken. So. In the Trial Chambers update, Mojang has added a few new potions to give a little more challenge to the new Ominous Trials. So we've got a few. The first one is the Potion of Weaving. This will actually place some cobwebs where a mob with the effect died, which is pretty cool. We've also got the Potion of Wind Charging, similar, but spawns a wind burst where the mob died. Uh, there's also the Potion of Oozing, and this one spawns slimes where a mob dies. So this could be a problem in some ways, but seeing as the mob has to die for it to activate, and it doesn't work on slimes, it's not causing any major balance issues from what I can see. The problem child comes from this last one, the Potion of Infestation. Unlike Oozing, this spawns Silfish when a mob takes damage sometimes, and that is not good. We assume a mob can only take so much damage before it dies and no longer exists, thus can't, you know, infinitely spawn silfish. But this isn't true. Some mobs are able to heal. Villagers and horses, for example, regen health over time. However, it's very slow, so it'd take ages to generate silfish, so there's not a huge problem there. But there are some mobs that can regen health very quickly, and there's one that creates a huge issue, and that is a laze. A laze regen super duper fast. Horses and villagers are slow, but a laze are so fast they can actually outheal certain types of damage. For example, a laze can't actually drown on their own, they literally will not die with just water damage. They can also survive constant suffocation from stuff like sand or gravel, and they can even outheal the damage from wither roses. These are all really fast damage types and create a ton of, you know, damage events, which the more you create, the more silverfish you can theoretically bring into the world. What this means is you have a dangerous duo, a mob that can take infinite, fast acting damage combined with the potion of infestation creates a situation where you can generate a lot of mobs very quickly. With just one alley, you can actually start generating a fair few silverfish, but the thing is, this is infinitely scalable. If you throw in multiple alleys, things get out of hand really quickly, and it essentially acts as a supercharged silverfish spawner. As you can see, after really not that long at all, a concerning level of silverfish have been brought into the world. Silverfish don't drop tons of XP, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because, as I said, it's infinitely scalable. This is quite broken right now. It's a bit of a weird feature they've added here because we've never really had something that works in this way before. XP farms have always been based on the idea of figuring out a way to manipulate the game into generating as many mobs as quickly as possible. It's a pretty fun pastime, and as we all know, it's birthed some super clever contraptions over the years. But when we look at something like this, it's kind of making a bit of a mockery of the whole thing. Because look, I'm all for sneaky ways to get ahead, and there is definitely something pretty satisfying about watching so many, so many mobs spawn so quickly, but it's just kind of... It's just kind of boring, and it doesn't really take much creativity. This definitely needs fixing, but I'm kind of curious on Mo Yang's thinking here, because this potion wasn't just random, you know, they must have had meetings about this potion. It's not like the old days where they just throw something out and see what happens. Features are planned like well in advance and are scrutinized before we see them. They know what adding the potion of oozing and infestation makes possible, but the strange thing is, they added them anyway. Hey, maybe it's just an oversight where features are clashing in the wrong way, but maybe it's a sign they're changing their approach to, you know, the importance of XP. 
It could be they're accepting XP is a tedious barrier and giving players an option to largely skip it if it's getting in the way of their fun. Another recent addition, Skulk, has also given players the option to store XP. So maybe this is a signal XP is going to become less important going forward. Mending is such a required thing now, and you know, XP wasn't really designed with that mechanic in mind, so maybe there's been a change of direction somewhere in all of this. Honestly though, I think this is just broken. So what are some possible solutions? They could reduce the amount of times a mob is able to shed a silverfish. This would make a lot of sense, but then it also may as well just work like the potion of oozing. They could make spawn silverfish not drop XP. Problem there is, I think they want to give you the opportunity to farm XP on like some level with this potion, so making them not drop any XP doesn't seem quite right either. They could also change the potion recipe. I personally feel stone as a brewing ingredient is way too cheap and easy to get. If it were infested stone instead, it'd at least require a bit more work to create the potions, but that doesn't solve it entirely either. You could just make alleys immune to the effect as well, but this kind of feature is going to keep rearing its head over time. If it's not alleys, it'll just be some other method that allows for infinite hits. The thing is, Whenever it comes to potion related features, it always creates a bit of a headache. Splash potions and potion tipped arrows have been in the game for ages. And to this day, because of, you know, like crossbows and stuff, they remain kind of unbalanced in a lot of ways. And I think potions of infestation will run into similar issues. Like even if you did all of the previous suggestions, you could just get 100 horses, throw a splash potion of infestation on them, and it'd still be able to generate quite a lot of silverfish. It's tricky. All in all though, I think it's cool to see some new potions that do something totally distinct from the old ones, and the idea of there being some after effect from defeating a mob is pretty fun too. It'll be interesting to see how they address this problem, if it's even considered a problem in the first place. It's going to have big implications on the game's future if it remains unchanged. Either way, let me know what your opinion is on all of this. Do you think this is OP? Or are you glad we might be getting new options to farm XP? It's a tough one. Whatever the case, that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I have been Simply Sark, and I will catch you in the next one.